Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Wimbledon look like they're going to ban Russian and Belarusian players from the 2022 event as a result of the conflict happening in Russia and that having a Russian player win Wimbledon, for example, Daniel Medvedev, could be a good look for Russia, which would boost what Putin is doing in the Ukraine. Let's go over a read of the statement by the All England Club only a couple of hours ago. So this is the statement from Wimbledon or the All England Club. They say, we have noted the UK government's guidance regarding the attendance of Russian and Belarusian individuals in a neutral capacity at sporting events in the UK. This remains a complex and challenging issue. And we are continuing to engage discussion with the UK government, the LTA and the international governing bodies of tennis. We plan to announce a decision in relation to Wimbledon ahead of our entry deadline in mid-May. So there you have it. That is what Wimbledon or the All England Club, as they're also known as, came out and said. So they're in a little bit of limbo at the moment. And of course, we know what the UK government had to say. The sports minister for the UK actually came out a month or so ago saying that all Russian players should be banned from Wimbledon. And it looks like that it might be going down that road. They haven't made a decision yet, but if things don't get any better in the Ukraine and with Russia, of course, invading the Ukraine, it could get bad for the players and the All England Club could ban the Russians from playing altogether. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you reckon about this? We all know that the Russian and Belarusian players can't play under their flags. They've also been pulled out of the team competitions, the Davis Cup and the Fed Cup. But we haven't seen them be pulled out of the individual competition yet. And it looks like maybe Wimbledon are going to be the first ones to do it. Of course, we've got some big names playing from Russia next week, including Rublev. So we'll see what happens. Is Wimbledon going to start the trend of maybe pulling out players from Russia and Belarus because of the conflict?